ago, I went to Whistler Mountain Bike Park for the opening day weekend, but there were a few changes I needed to make to my bike before going. After seeing my initial bike check video, one of my awesome Patreon subscribers sent over these matching decals that really tied the bike together. The whole process probably only took me about 10 minutes, but it took me that long because I was filming. Next up, it was swapping from these two piston to the four piston calipers to give me better braking power. One thing to note is these brakes come with these fin pads that I find rattle around and annoy the crap out of me. So I put on these finless pads, which I've never had an issue overheating, and they have the benefit of being a lot cheaper. I finally got around to installing Kushkor on both wheels. I have a hard time riding my bike without Kushkor, and the install process has become relatively easy now that I've gotten used to it. These days, I travel quite frequently, and I've learned a lot of tricks along the way. One of the tricks I like to do is notch out my bars so I know exactly where to put them when I go to reinstall them. Big Ziploc bags are perfect protection for your rotors to avoid them from getting contaminated. Goggle cases do a good job protecting your derailleur. It also protects your bag from getting greasy from your chain. Since I flew into Seattle, I had to make a quick detour by Ducey Hill. This is a public bike park in Washington State with some awesome gap potential. From there, I drove up to Whistler, and I have to say, this is honestly one of the most beautiful and relaxing drives I have ever had to do. I'll take this moment to mention that my sponsor, GT Bikes, flew me out to Whistler. They are a partner of Whistler, and the rental fleet of Whistler is all custom-painted GT bikes. They also have the added benefit of having these nice, fancy tents that kept me dry on opening day. Being stationed at the tent also meant I got to interact with fans before going out on the hill. As I was waiting out the rain, I found these awesome DMR grips that perfectly matched my frame, and they were super comfy. Lastly were these yellow crank booties I picked off Amazon for about 7 bucks. I'll leave a link to these and the DMR grips in the description below. With all that jibber jabber out of the way, it was time to go ride. On Friday, due to the rain, not too many people showed up, so this meant the lift lines were incredibly short. This also meant my camera lens was about to get really muddy. Heard about the trail? Oh, there it is. Two gaps right there. Oh, it's not falling down to the right. <laughs> That'd be bad news. <laughs> that terminal was got me. As a result, I don't have that much footage from Friday. That being said, I do have one sick lap where I followed Jordan Boostmaster down Technoir. And there's some sketchy wooden features. Oh, we got some uh, sketchy wooden features, which... Oh my... God! Oh. I should mention I also got a chance to ride with the Dale Mountain Bike Rider, Lone Ranger, BC POV, Van Can, and Paul the Punter, but because the footage was so muddy, it's almost not worth sharing. After a bunch of laps, I called it quits a bit early. As a side note, this hotel that I was staying at Valley parks your bike, so you don't have to worry about storing it when you're there. Outside, they had a bike stand and bike wash station, which made it really convenient for washing off my muddy clothes. The next day turned out to be beautiful. The sun was out and the trails were starting to dry up. I did a lap down A-Line with Jordan Boostmaster, but I'll spare that video since I already posted it last week. I'll fast forward to the beginning of our next lap. So you probably don't want to lead for here, or do you even know it? No, I didn't know this trail, but somehow I ended up leading anyway. <laughs> so just you don't take like a wrong turn. <laughs> I... Left. Yeah, yeah, right here. <laughs> oh yeah, 
Man, this is good. Nachos, I've never ridden that. Dude, that was so nice. <laughs> you were sending it like crazy. All lines I've like never even tried myself. <laughs> That's sick. All right, so we just quickly do beeline for a little, little stretch and then we go up a road to like. Oh, I missed that little rock on the right there. Uh, what are we doing? Detroit Rock City. Wooden roller on the right side, which I didn't do. Yesterday I did the other rock roller on the left. Sketchy wood thing. Into a squirrel. <laughs> that was good. That's better than Tangled. Yeah. Tangled. I love. All right. Oh, I actually have done this. I think. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I just need to follow you to find all the good stuff. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Whoa, what the hell is that? That's clown shoes. It's basically the biggest drop in the park comes after that. Get you guys around. Right on, yeah, yeah. If nothing else, I had a blast riding with you guys, and hopefully, we can so, do some more laps. The gondola also takes bikes up, so when it's busy, go look at the gondola, see if you can get a quicker line to the top. But the mountain is still open for snowboarding and skiing. That's why you see people walking around with ski boots on. I know, it looks kind of weird. Anyway, here I'm doing a lap down A line with Andrew Cho. All right. Ninja Cougar. I don't think I did this yesterday. Maybe I did. It turns out I did do this trail yesterday. I just didn't recognize it now that it was sunny out. Well, I recognize this now. Andrew was a legendary free rider. And a few years ago, he actually suffered a spinal cord injury. And as you can see, he made a pretty spectacular recovery. <laughs> Have you ridden that before? I, I rode that yesterday, oh, okay, so. That's good. Samurai can, piece of can take us into a little more of a trailing style trail. Okay. I'll put you in. Let's, let's do that. Okay. Oops, sorry. So Cho is riding the Force 29er, which is an absolute monster truck. You know how you get, went through a tree? She went off. Yeah, and it dips. So people go off from the top of that rock to, to the bottom between the trees. Well, that, I think that's the gap that I was looking at. Yeah. Like I saw, I was like, that's doable. Yeah. <laughs> Sketchy. Don't worry, later in this video, I'll come back and test my luck on that. Okay, I have not done this. Oh! Alright, that was a bad line choice. Oh, 
these berms. <laughs> oh, that was a gap. Oh. Stoked I saw that one in that one. Oh, my tire tapped that tree. I was going for that. Hey, what's going on, man? At the time, I only caught that person out of the corner of my eye, so I didn't realize that that was Ryan from the Lone Ranger. So right here, Cho shows me a really cool line where you can make this tabletop a lot longer and go a lot further. I ended up using that to my advantage a few runs later. I love riding with different people. All right, here's the booter. Yeah. Did your foot come unclipped? Yeah. I heard that. I was like, oh. <laughs> After that, we picked up a friend and headed back to the top. All right, so this guy right here is John Barrera, and he is one of the developer, front developer for G2, so he does everything full suspension related. And at Whistler, all of the rental fleet is GT bikes. So if you want to try one of these out. I saw Steve from the Tuesday Tune. If you like geeking out about mountain bike suspension, he's a channel to follow. I appreciate your uh, breakdowns. All right, let's do this. Boys, are you? Got a gap coming up. Well, I could definitely double that. Right after this lap, I went back to the top for a party lap down, crank it up with a bunch of my fans and fellow YouTubers. I was, I was waiting to, uh, I was trying to find you in the lift and I didn't see you. I was like, are you that far ahead? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, woo. Um, what should we do after crank it up? Seymour. Seymour? We'll do that. Who, uh, <laughs> so who wants to lead? That's the question. I mean, I'll lead, I guess. Do you want to? Send it. All right. Wait, dude. So, maybe I should go in the back and try to like pat, make my way to the front. <laughs> yeah, I'll just stay wide everywhere. Okay. You go inside. I don't know what it is. All right, so I'm gonna slowly try to make my way to the front on this uh, train. All right, air coming in on your right. All right, coming in slowly. <laughs> uh oh. Phew. Oh, that's a moment. Coming on your right or your left. Phew. Man, I'm coming in on your left. Oh, you guys are quick. Let's go. Corn oh, turn. <laughs> you can still get a fist bump if you want. <laughs> yeah. Gotta make sure everyone gets in the video. 
Two, uh, looks like we have some rippers right there. We'll let them go and uh, we'll sneak in behind unless they decide to stop. And ah! oh, I didn't even know this trail existed. Yeah, buddy. Sneak through on your left. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> That was awesome. Yeah, that was sick. That was a pretty wild. <laughs> I like how everyone was starting to get a little aggressive in the middle, like. Yeah, trying to pass each other. And but that party lap was so much fun. I really love getting the chance to ride with my fans and also fellow YouTubers. Anyway, after that, I met back up with Amy Cho and we headed to the top for a few more laps. Angry Pirate? Oh, not today. Towards the end of the day, the lighting on Angry Pirate gets really difficult. The contrast between bright and very dark makes it really hard to see where the trail actually goes. In this lap, I'm about to check one of the gaps I saw earlier in the day off my list, and this one was particularly sketchy. sketched me out because of how close the trees were to either side of the trail. Messed up, eh, it wouldn't be such a good time. <laughs> Did you do the step down? Did we go close? Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's heavy. I always forgot about that turn, and each time I took a terrible line through it. Back to the top, and this time I have back up with Jordan Goosemaster to do a rundown of Slayer. You know, I, I, I don't know if, I'm, uh, if I was seeing correctly because my eyes aren't great, but it looked like the thing in front of Dwayne was gone. Well, because remember the one guy crashed into it? I don't know if he put it back. Yeah, <laughs> so here I'm about to do a rundown Slayer blind, which probably isn't the smartest idea. Left at the fork. Okay, 
right, this way. Good, you're good. Go ahead. <laughs> At this point, I thought I'd taken the wrong turn, but it turns out that Jordan had a flat. Well, I ended up trying to chase him down for the rest of this run, but you can see this video from Jordan's perspective on his channel. Jordan! Uh oh. Did I make a wrong turn? Fortunately, I think I may have taken the wrong. Whoa, this is sick. What is this? Oh, this is not the line, but it is sick. Oh, I want to go there. Okay. Hey, out of curiosity, do you guys know where Clown Shoes is? Right here. Right here? He's Let's go to Phil. Oh, oh, oh yeah, I've watched you on YouTube. What's up, man? What, you got- Did you get a new bike? I did. What's going on here? Did you get flat? No. He just burped. Ah. <laughs> I'm supposed to be riding with Jordan, so I'm gonna go try to find him. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, he he came down here about a minute and a half. Okay, see you guys. <laughs> Knowing what I know now, I feel bad I didn't get a chance to stop and talk to those kids. <laughs> What? Okay, that was not a turn on this. Why am I going uphill? Ah, there's a trail. rock roll I've ever seen. At least at a bike park. Fast forward to the next day and I finally got a chance to link up with Nate Hills. <laughs> this lap finally gave me the opportunity to hit that berm to berm gap that I was talking about. Though it was way easier than I expected so it was honestly kind of disappointing. Yeah! Woo! Yeah, well like, you had to jump way further left than I was like, expecting. Yeah, dude that chin mount looks so sketch. It is uh, it's not that bad. Like luckily it's the weakest link, it just looks super dorky. Yeah. <laughs> but the footage from it is so good, it's like hard not to. You want? Now, if you don't recognize the guy in front of me, that's Nate Hills from Follow Cam Friday. He's got a super awesome YouTube channel, which you probably know of by now. But if you don't, it's worth checking out. I don't get to ride with him that often, and when I do, it's a real treat. I did A-line a bunch this week, but this was easily my favorite lap. We went super deep on some of these jumps. <laughs>
up. Let me rewind that and watch that again. Look how deep I go there. Pretty big off this. Dude, I feel like I'm about to land on it. Yeah. In between this lap and my next lap, I got roped into doing a pink bike gap video where we sessioned a bunch of big gaps. So here's a quick clip from that session. As a quick side note, Yarn Borelli is one of the coolest people ever. I definitely hope to do a few collaborations with him in the future, because he's also started his own YouTube channel. And here is Yuan hitting the same gap from a different angle. This one just shows you how gnarly this gap was. As of editing this, that pink bike video just went live, so be sure to go check that out. Later, I met back up Ready? with my buddy Max and we made our way down to Dwayne Johnson. I got hairy really quickly. Yeah, you took the wrong line for sure. <laughs> that was like the man line. Do you know your way down this? Not really. Okay. I mean, you're moving plenty fast. Whoa, what are you? wasn't supposed to be open, I don't think. <laughs> no, dude, I just saw that, that tape and I was like, well, I'm in it now. <laughs> I was looking at doing something, I think right in here. Like yeah. <laughs> just kinda like, it's a little awkward for a setup, but it's doable. There's definitely some good lines in here. I think right here should be fine. It's not that big. It's, I think it looks like more pop than anything. I was just like, I, like, I'm not making this turn. I'm committing to goal posting these two trees. <laughs> Ooh, that was a close one. I'll have to leave that gap for another day. I'll be back for it though. Oh yeah, I didn't do this. Whoa! That's really cool. Yeah, it's a little slow, but I don't. Yeah, whatever. Like, that's I haven't done that yet. Here you go. Yeah. I'll follow you. you. Oh, well, this is a good crowd to jump in behind.
Finally, on my last lap, I managed to get a good line through the section, staying high on both of these turns and cutting them way off. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go grab some food. Sick. Hi guys. Yeah. Nice meeting you. Dude. Yeah, pleasure. Let me know what you think of this super long video in the comments below. As always, my name is Phil Metz. Thanks for playing bikes with me today. Now I'll see you guys next time. Peace.